Hello, this is Spellbinder Reports. I'm doing a part two follow-up on this object of uh, a, could be uh, Nabiru or Nebiru. Um, I've discovered on the the uh, Google Sky down here it says image is copyright 2007 DSS consortium. So this is actually the older picture from 2007. That's like four years ago. So this is when it was four years ago when the object was sighted on this. It never got blotched out four years ago. This is actually the new object and it's actually turning red and heading north. It's actually going the opposite direction than what I was saying in my last video. The object is heading north. These objects seem to be protruding out. Someone asked me about that and I said, well, they look like these objects are protruding out of this whatever it is, donut shaped object. Could it be dark matter in the center? Could it be a black hole passing uh, by our solar system? Could it be Nabiru? Who knows, but it's got these objects captured within this whatever it is and it's turning redder as it heads north. Uh, I mean by heading north is this is where it was on the, the world. This is where it is right now now. Instead of here now, it's actually here now. So actually, what I said on the air video is actually backwards. This is the older picture of it, and these objects are still protruding out of it. These objects here seem to be some part of it. And it's been four years it took it to go from there, from here to there. It took about four years. Because this actually says right here, 2007 is when this picture was done. So this picture is actually the older picture. So actually, it's it's closer to Gem, the three Gemini, than it is to uh, the HD forty two oh four nine, and it's moving. Apparently, it's moving this way across there. So, in another four years, it should transcend to about where this object is. Well, if I can get to that object there. Oh, that just took off on me. What a piece of crap. I, it's the only thing I hate about Google Sky and Google Earth. The damn thing will take off on you. Uh, but there's, there is where it is now. This is actually now. That was then. So it was here. This is the correct place to look with a telescope. Is at these coordinates. 0608552247214721. That's the correct coordinates. And sorry about getting now I didn't realize I had to I, when I backed it off, I looked down and I go, oh wait, there's the uh, the image date. So yes, this, it's becoming redder. What it is, I don't know. Is it just passing by our solar system, or is it something? I mean, it could be, it could be anything. I think scientists should be on TV telling us what this is. Is it a uh, moving dark matter, a, a mini black hole, passing by our solar system? I mean, that's means it's outside our solar system, and it took four years to get to here. So this object that we're seeing is what it looks like now. That's what you're seeing a telescope probably about like at. It should be about like looking at Neptune or maybe even Uranus. Anyone that's familiar with amateur astronomy like I am, I'm speculating at the size it goes down to that looks like something that would be something like Neptune, which is really very hard to see with the naked eye once you got extremely clear clear skies I mean there it is there 
I said that's the, the right bottom side of Gemini. That's to the south, south of Gemini, the purposes to the well, it would be to the west direction, west, northwest. Um, but this object is right here. I really don't know what else to tell you except uh, I discovered that, so that should help you out a lot knowing that when I start investigating later on, I discovered that, hey, this object is actually was here four years ago. Around four years ago, this object was here, but now it's moved. And that's kind of strange that this object is moved. I mean, this is a very, very unusual object. When I was looking at it, when it was all yellow, this almost looked like it was a brown dwarf. I mean, you almost see like sunspots on this yellow. And that's kind of strange in itself. This is a little hotter because it's wider. These, I'm not really sure. But they're there. They're in it. They're, they're part of it. The stuff it was protruding out, which appeared to be protruding out because it looked like this yellow was sticking to it. As I'll go back to this and center on that and zoom in. You, I will show you that. But if you look at it real close, on the extreme close up, in other words, get as close as I can possibly get it and fit in the, in the frame, something like this, these objects just about appear to be part of it. I mean, the yellow goes up around it and it's protruding out. This is protruding out. This is protruding out. It's like these objects are emerging four years later from the original object like this. These have either, these are either migrated to the edge and are starting to protrude out like it's formating stars. But if it is a nebulous cloud, it is moving very quick for taking only four years to move that distance. I mean, this is this is fantastic. I think this should be turned over to a, an astronomer. If there's an astronomer, an astrophysicist out there that gets wind of this, have him take a look at this, and then has him take his uh, observatory telescope and find this object and see exactly what this object is. It is very bizarre because this is today, or whenever the World Wide Telescope took this picture. I can't find a, a date stamp on this, so I'm not sure when this was taken, but it was at least August 4th of last year. And it shows this object. I mean, it moved four years that distance. And you can just about see down inside this thing. That's what's really weird about it. You can zoom in to such a point where you're just about able to see. You can see this red's like flowing in or or coming out of it. Maybe it's coming out and flowing over the outside of it like streams. But you can, I mean, just blow this picture up on YouTube because they got that little box with the four arrows pointing out, which is your expansion, and take a look at this. I mean, this is just wild if you look at it. And also look in my other video's description box. I got the coordinates, both coordinates in there and just reverse those coordinates. Use the one for January 27th as the new one. And it's this image here. I want to know if somebody, see it's cloudy where I'm at. I'm in Ohio and it's cloudy right now. And it's getting ready to snow. But somebody out west, if you got a nice clear sky, especially out in the desert, take a look for this object at those coordinates and see if it's still there. If not, follow the trail I showed on here from where it was, because I can tell you it's going in an angle. Uh, it's going in an angle oops in this direction it's going this way so if you get to here all you have to do is do some real bit of calculation and you may be able to go ahead and figure out where it is up here whenever I mean, if it took four years to go from where it was down here to up or down here to up there that means it couldn't have moved much more in a couple of quadrants. So it'll be in this area here. And uh, I just wish it was clear. I'd have my telescope out tonight looking for this object because Gemini's up right now. This is uh, 
should be still in the sky. It's it's part of the winter constellation. There's Orion right there. It's north of Orion. It's Gemini. I even pull back so you can see the entire constellation. There's Gemini. There's the two bright upper stars. These are the two lower ones. And it's near where this lower one is. It's right there in this area right here. I'm showing you and it's if it's not there then it's near this next quadrant going diagonal because it's going in a diagonal direction and you have a lot of objects to go by to locate it I mean you like I said just look for the HD 4209 or the HR depending on your star chart what you got and you'll be able to figure out where this object is exactly you got three Gemini right here so it will be off this way on three Gemini so that's about all I got time to do I'm running out of time here but I wanted to do a second thing on here and correct the first video basically saying hey this objects move this way it's now where this spot is and whenever the WWT took this picture of the sky it will be somewhere and WWT is fairly new so it's going to be really close around this area here I guarantee it uh, like I said you got three Gemini in one spot there to go by you can go off of three Gemini and if I go to the other one which I can back it off and I don't have the uh, stuff for it on here so I can't really show you anything on this one but because this is even a clearer picture but do your do a little bit of searching up in this area here between this between this three Gemini and and this star here which I'm not even sure what it is let's see if it gives me an ID on it oh come on oh I got that rod on there sometimes you gotta have this thing exact I guess I have to zoom into it and then I'll be able to tell you what that star is it may not be identified it may be an unidentified star let me see what it does nope it's an unidentified star it's so small it's not on the star chart well, it's not on uh, on this star chart. Let's put it that way. It will be on a uh, real good star chart that a lot of people like I got. The one it's like a book. Uh, I'll think of his name, Triton or Triton. His star chart will probably have that on there, that star. But I can't believe this didn't identify that star. That's that's kind of poor on um, WWT's part for not identifying, or it just may be an unnamed star. But uh, you'll probably see it on a chart. This just won't be identified as a name. Nobody's named it. Um, there it is, though. Is it Neb Is it Nebaru, or is it a black hole passing through? Is it dark matter? Is this what dark matter looks like when it's concentrated? Is it something else? I mean, who knows? All I know is that this is this is the closest newest picture of it, and it's turning red. So like I said, stuff looks like it's flowing out, and these stars look like they're protruding out. They're coming out of it from when it was this here. Oh, I lost it. That's where I lost it at. <laughs> Have to back up to where I can find it again. There it is, right there. There it was. Uh oh. Uh oh. I lost it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, I didn't lose it. I just misplaced it. <laughs> yeah. See, if you look at here. And then here, you see these things look like they're protruding now out of it. These things are emerging. I don't know if that's if it's coming towards the solar system and those are starting to emerge from a protective shield, maybe. 
Maybe that's a protective shield of some type that protects them. Maybe they're planets. Maybe there's a star hidden inside this darkness. And it's a shield of some type. I don't know. Maybe it's a Dyson sphere inside there. Who knows? But until next time, this is Spellbinder reporting. Good day.